Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do a what's in my travel makeup bag slash pack with me. I travel tomorrow and I have not packed any of my makeup yet, so I wanna go ahead and take you guys along with me and show you exactly what I get with me, how I pack things, how I keep things organized. Now I am traveling for 35 days, so it's gonna be a very long trip, so this is not just like your summer essentials makeup. This is everything that I can possibly need while I'm on vacation. We do have a lot of events and weddings and engagement parties and things like that to attend so I need all the makeup that I could possibly need while I'm on vacation as far as my makeup unfortunately I'm gonna have to let my makeup go into my checked in bag I usually do because I put more of the expensive pieces like camera or a really expensive bag and things like that in my carry-on for this trip I have this huge wedding dress that's basically taking up my whole carry-on space so unfortunately all the makeup is gonna have to go into the checked in bag but last summer I did also travel internationally and I packed my items the same way that I'm gonna show you guys in the video right now there's a couple things that have changed but for the most part it's still the same and I didn't have any issues when I arrived nothing broke nothing splashed everything was perfectly fine I really enjoy packing my stuff that way that way when I get to wherever I'm going I don't have to like fidget through my stuff trying to find my makeup or create a mess everything is organized neatly so if you guys want to go ahead and pack with me see what I get with me on vacation and how I organize everything then please keep watching please don't mind and all that mess over here. Hi guys and welcome. So let's go ahead and first start with brushes. I know they are dirty. I haven't had the time to wash them yet so I'll just wash them when I get there. A girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. So I recently got this brush holder from Morphe. A lot of companies, a lot of makeup stores uh, have these. I found it way more convenient to put my brushes in a cup holder like this. That way when I arrive to wherever I'm going I can just use both of the cups to display my items. Luckily all the brushes that I need fit in here except this because this is huge. I'm just gonna keep it on the side and put it in my other makeup bag. But this is convenient because I could just close that up and all my brushes are secured. And we have all my brushes in this holder right here. So if you guys watched my first video that I ever did on YouTube, you guys might have recognized this. This is from Mary Kay. I believe I got it on eBay. I would say a year and a half ago. I really like this because it rolls up like this and it fits in your bag nicely. And then you have the little hanger so wherever you are, you're in the bathroom or whatnot, you can just hang it and everything will lay down like so. And then you have one, two, three, four compartments and each compartment you can just take off. If you're like going somewhere during vacation and you don't want to get your whole makeup bag, you can put everything in here and just take this with you. I know it's a little dirty. It's gone through a few trips and there's makeup all over. So for the most part, this is what I try to use to fit my makeup. The bigger items, I do have another bag that I will use to put those items in. For stuff that could break or are made out of glass or whatnot, I do put it in this compartment right here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. This has cushions, so it helps with that. But over here, I'll just put all my makeup that won't break. So first things first, I like sectioning things in categories. So the face goes together, the lips and lipsticks and lip liners go together, the eyeshadows and the eyebrows and all that kind of stuff. So I like splitting it up into sections. And when I start placing things in here, I do it category by category as if I was applying it on my face so that I make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. I do move with my hands a lot, so do excuse me. The first section that we have is the face so for the primer I don't really use primer as much lately honestly but the primer that I always do use is the Smashbox for the finish when I do use primer so we'll go ahead and start with the bottom section for the faces so I'm placing that here I'm obviously gonna get my favorite foundation of all times this is the Laura Mercier flawless fusion I'm in the shade 2 and 2 linen and then we have the Anastasia stick foundation that I'll be getting as a backup I'm also going to be getting the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I like this when I'm trying to go for like a no makeup type of look. And a couple more foundations. I know this is a lot of foundations you guys, but it's 35 days. I'm probably gonna do my cousins and my aunts and other people's makeup, so I gotta be prepared. I also have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I'm in the shade 
O2 Natural. And then I got this darker foundation just a little bit. I'm sure I'm going to be getting tanned. So this is the Infallible 203 foundation. So I'll place that in here. Next we have concealers. Um, the concealer that I'm going to be getting is the Tarte Shape Tape and the Age Rewind Maybelline. Those are the only two concealers that I'll be getting. I do have the Becca Brightener that I like putting on. So I'll be putting this on. And this is a dried up concealer that I like getting to just clean up around my lips and things like that. So next we have concealer. This is a brand new one because this is how much I'm obsessed with it and I want to make sure that I don't run out. This I use to contour. It's the Undercover Cream Concealer by Jordana in 06 Sand. So I'll just use this to contour and then I have the Milani Bronzer All Over Glow to bronze up my face. For illuminators and highlighters, I have the Cover Effects. This is just the small sample size. I have the Becca Skin Perfector and we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector as well. I usually do this before I put my foundation on to give me a nice glow. And then for actual highlighters, I am getting with me two highlighters. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Gradient Glow. And I also have been loving this Morphe High Impact Highlighter Illuminator in extra. It looks like this. I'll swatch it for you guys. So it's a very subtle, I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry, excuse the lipstick. Not like boom in your face highlighter, but it's a very natural soft highlighter. And for powder, I'm going to get the Milani Powder Foundation in 03 Natural. This is for like all over my face type of powder. And then to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to just get the Laura Mercier. This is the travel size uh, in translucent powder. All right, let's see. Can I Make it big and make it big. Bam! So all the face stuff is in here. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes and the eyebrows and lashes and all that kind of good stuff. So we're gonna first uh, start with primer. I'm getting my Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pop Primer and the NYX Glitter Primer as well, just in case we play with some glitter. I'm also gonna just get a sharpener. We always need a sharpener, so that will go in here. A lash curler, scissors, and tweezers always. I always like putting them with the lashes and liner stuff. We have lash glue, liner. I'm using the Inglot 77 eyeliner gel. Brow gel, I love, love this, not just for the eyebrows, but if you wanna do like a sleek ponytail type of look, I always use this. I don't even get hairspray anymore because I could just use this and this works better than hairspray in my opinion. So I'll just put that in there. I'm gonna get a blue liner just in case, you know, it's summer and all. If I wanna feel a little bit colorful, put that in there with the eye section. I'm getting my honest Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony, as always. Since I don't have any more space up in here, I do need to get a couple of blushes. So I'm using the Tarte Parte. This is more of a pink blush. And then the Milani Luminoso. This is more of the orangey one. I'll also place the big brush that didn't fit in there in here as well. While we are in the eye section, I went ahead and got all the lashes that I need. But I'm not going to place them in here because they are pretty large. So I'll put it in my other compartment that I'll show you guys in a second. And for mascara, I have the Voluminous Original and Voluminous in Waterproof. Because summertime, waterproof is key. And then we also have the Great Lash by Maybelline for the lower lashes. Now I am gonna be getting eyeshadow palettes. Obviously they're not gonna fit here, so they're gonna go in another bag, but for just single shadows, I'm getting this Kaylin built-in sponge mineral eyeshadow. This is a really pretty goldy rose right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I figured I would get one of a pop of a color blue. This is Surf USA eyeshadow. This is a beautiful turquoise. I got it a while back, but this just screams summer and bright colors and fun. So I figured I'll throw that in here. As far as eyeshadow palettes, I'm just gonna bring these two. I'm gonna bring the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Huda Beauty Desert Desk palette. I think these two will do it for me. Jaclyn Hill palette alone has all the possible colors that you might need. And then this is also one of my favorites. I really like this. So I'm also gonna throw that in there. I'll put that aside and show you guys where I will be 
placing those. For blush, I'm just gonna get my blush palette by Morphe. This is the 10B. Throw that in with the eyeshadow palettes as well. All right, for lipstick, I know you guys might call me crazy, but I'm indecisive and there's so many shades of nudes, so many shades of reds, and in between and all that kind of stuff. So please do not come after me and let me know. Do you really need all these colors? Yes. Yes, I do. So most of these are light pinks, nudes, and reds, and I have some deep colors in there a little bit. So we'll start with the red. These are basically the red that I'll be getting. We have, well, this is not really considered red, but this is like one of the deepest colors that I have. This is Vamp by Anastasia. And then we have Kylie, Mary Jo K. We have a color pop. I don't even know the name, but it's a nice red color that I really like. We have Jordana in True Red. This is one of of my favorite reds ever. I love, love, love this red. This is Strawberry by Anastasia. It's just so beautiful. And this is also another red that I really like. This is the Urban Decay in number 69. You guys can see there's a difference. I mean, there's a difference. So here we have the deep purple and plum colors. This is another ColourPop hot pink one. We have, this is just a very sheer, this is by Bare Minerals. It's a very sheer gloss. It's super pretty to lay on top of like a hot pink or just alone. So it's not as dark or bright as the bottle looks. And we have some deep red. This is Copenhagen. I don't even know how to say it. Just in case we're feeling, you know, vampy. This is a dark purple. And we have some hot pinks here. This is a special color. I don't know which category it falls into. I think it's kind of a red. I really like it. I just got it a few days ago. This is called Brick Olay. It's beautiful. You could really put it all around your lips or barely tapping your lips and it looks like it's your natural lip color without really having any lip on. It's not too red. It's just beautiful for every day. So here we have the pinks. We have some glosses. We have some mattes. This one is called Nude Cream by Milani. We have MAC Lip Glass. We have the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Angelique. We have some NYX lipstick. NYX is honestly one of my favorite for lips. This is the Soft Lip Cream in Milan. We have another NYX in Eclair. This is a gloss. This is one of my favorite uh, pink glosses. And we have some more Bare Mineral glosses to put on top of lipstick or to just wear alone. We also have this Nudish Pink Lip Paint by Tartiste. And this is a Morphe Jealousy. I really like this. I just got it recently. It's more of a deep deeper nudey mauve. One of my favorite nudes, and it's actually super cheap, as you guys can see, this is busted. Um, it's Bear It All 902C. I don't even know what brand it is. It's just called Bear It All 902C from the drugstore. I swear this was like a couple bucks, and it's like the perfect nude. We also have a couple nudes from MAC, Velvet Teddy, and Fa. This is more of a pinkish nude, and this is like a true nude nude. I have some more NYX lip cream. We have London, we have Stockholm, and we have Abu Dhabi. They seem very similar, and these are one of my favorite, favorite nudes. I always, always feel like if I want to play it safe or make sure that I'm going with a shade that goes with everything, I always shoot for those three. I absolutely love these. Another favorite nude of mine is Exposed by Kylie, and then we have Banana Beige in Milani. I haven't tried this one. I'm like, let me, let me, you know, try something new and just bring it along and see how it goes. So that's a pretty nude. And then we have Beeper. This is by ColourPop. And last but not least, we have Matte Naked 61 by Milani. This is also a very pretty nude. So that is for lipsticks. Now let's move on to lip liners. I forgot one more shade of lipstick. I wore this in my Summer Glam Transformation video. It's a pretty fuchsia lip color and unzipped. It's just beautiful for summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in there. All right, now we are done with lipstick. So four lip liners. Here are the four shades of red lip liners that I'll be getting. This one is the Jordana Sedona Red. We have the Kylie Mary Jo K Red Lip Liner. We have the Jordana Coral Flame. This is more of an orangey red. And then this is not really red. I don't know why I put it in this category. But we have the Tawny Jordana Lip Liner. It's like a nudish pink. Oh, 
and I just tore that apart right, right here. That's a nudish pink. So for nudes, we have quite a few. We have the NYX London. This is the same as the lip cream that I showed you guys earlier. We also have the Milani All Natural. We have another NYX lip liner in natural. And we have Rock and Rose Jordana lip liner. We have NYX Natural. I could have sworn I brought like four natural. <laughs> Oh well. We have MAC in Strip Down and we have NYX in Stockholm. This has a matching lip cream as well. And then we have Kylie in Candy K. So those are the nudes. And we have three of the pinkier, mauvier lip liner. We have MAC Whirl. We have MAC in Soar. This is a, more of a pink lip liner. And then we have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Muse. And I'm running out of space. It looks like that. All right, so now we are done with the lips. So back with the eyes, I forgot to get a couple more things. I know we have the Inglot liner, but I also like to add on top of it um, some just like a felt tip or a liquid liner. So I'm getting these two. This is the Jordana liquid liner, and this is also a Jordana liquid eyeliner. It has this type of tip on it. I also want to get the gold glitter liner. This is by Jordana as well. This will just be a nice glitter to add on top if I want to, you know, be a little bit extra. We have a regular black liner for the waterline. This is the NYX one. We also have a brown liner. This is by Jordana. And then we have a white, light, creamy liner. This is by NYX. So I actually have more space than I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and put lashes in here. So any lashes that I'm going to be using again, I just put them in this compartment. I got this from House of Lashes. And there's these new lashes that I, I'm excited to try out. And these are from Morphe, the Santa Monica and Sunset Boulevard lashes. These look more on the natural side. So these are more like everyday. So I got a couple of these. I also have some lashes from Killa Beauty called Maria. I have the Luxury Vegan Lashes in Barbie. I really like these lashes for like a dramatic look. We have a couple of House of Lashes. This is in the style Bambi, and then this is in the style Noir Fair Mini. We also have these lashes. I think they're House of Lashes. I don't even know, but they're called Misha. We have, of course, Ardell Wispies, always. I don't know what happened to this pair, but we'll make it work. And then lastly, I also have some individual lashes, the Ardell Lash Trios. These are the three lashes in one. I did a tutorial on how to apply these, and I really like these much better than the individual strands. These come in three lashes in one so you can really get the volume that you need without putting a gazillion on all right and that is it for this bag right here I'm gonna go ahead and just roll it all up and there we have it most of my makeup in here so this is out of the way we have the brush holder out of the way so I want to show you guys where I place the bigger items and basically the rest of my makeup and skincare items and things like that. So I have no idea where this is from. Funny story is my dad ordered something online for like the house and it ended up being a scam. He never got the item that he wanted to get and instead they sent him this. He never ordered this obviously, but it's actually kind of cute. It's like a big bag with some compartments right here a zipper right here and a couple compartments right here so i figured this would work to put the rest of my stuff in so i have my palettes right here you guys know that i'm only getting two palettes and my morphe blush palette i put them in here i have wipes i have my neutrogena wipes and then i'm trying out these so far i've been trying i've tried a couple of these and they work really great uh, i love Suri. Yi was talking about it in her one of her videos this is the kirkland this is the Costco brand, I believe. So I have a couple of these. And then basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my brushes in here as well. So they're all together in one place. This doesn't have cushion, and I know you guys might think, oh my god, your palettes are gonna break. But I actually stuff this between my clothes or wrap it with a towel so that way none of that happens. I did forget my beauty blender. I have it wrapped in a what do they call this? 
what do they call it? Oh my God, I don't even know, for the sandwiches. Put it in a Ziploc if you have one. I just don't have one right now, so I just used this to wrap my beauty blenders. I'm using the Morphe sponge and then the beauty blender in mini. So I'll just store that in here. I'm gonna move this to the side. What I'm also gonna place in this bag is this right here. I used this in my first video as well. This is really nice for items that have glass or that feel like could splash or break at any time. This has a nice cushion. So this would really help for those type of items. So I have my moisturizers in here. I have my perfume in here. Here I have my face wash, sunscreens, oils, coconut oils, makeup remover, like olive oil, hair care stuff. So I have everything placed in here because this really protects my bottles very well. I got this on Amazon. So everything that I have purchased basically is from Amazon or eBay, but I'll list it down below for you guys. And this one also does have the little hook. So you could just hook it up on in your bathroom and it will be set. So since there's some room in here, I'm going to go ahead and just place that in there as well. So I have some additional space in here that I'll put more of the plastic products that I feel like wouldn't break in here. But before I do that, another option, if you guys don't have this, there's this really cute three piece set that I got from Amazon that I've used last time and it's a mesh black three piece set. You have, this is your largest size. You have the medium size right here and then the smaller size right here. So I used this last time to store some of my beauty products in here. So that's another option if you guys don't wanna get this huge jumongous bag. Jumongous, is that even a word? I don't know. So since I do have space in this bag, I'm gonna go ahead and store the products that don't really break as much, more of the plastic items, so these type of stuff that I feel like won't splash or break, I'll just place it in here. Last thing I want to show you guys is I am keeping my mesh hair care products in this. That way I can keep the beauty product separate and the hair care product separate. So I have my extensions here, my brushes, my hair clips, my shower cap, my dry shampoo, and everything that I can possibly need for my hair is in here. Other than the glass like argan oil products that I would use on my hair, I have it in that cushioned thing. So here you guys have all my makeup, all my skincare products, all my beauty products that I could possibly need in these two bags right here. And then we also have my hair care right here. Whew. So this is how I pack my travel makeup bag while I'm on vacation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned some tips of how to organize everything while you're traveling. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed. I do upload videos every single week. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.